biosafety cabinets are classified into three distinct uh, uh, classification or types class 1 class 2 and class 3 and within class 2 there is type a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 which we will talk about as we go along to the next slide and then of course the class 3 which is the highest level of protection in so far as the class 1 is concerned biosafety it provides personnel and environmental protection, but the product is not protected. The product can get, or the sample which you're dealing with, can get potentially contaminated with the outside air. Um, it's more or less obsolete now to use class one. People do not use class one as a BAC cabinet because of this particular reason that it could potentially contaminate the sample as a result of which there could be variable results when we do repeat experiments. When it comes to class two, it's a partial barrier system, which is dependent on the movement of air from, uh, uh, from inside the cabinet. And there are again, different classifications within that, which we'll come to, but it has the capability of protecting the person, the environment and the product. Uh, when it comes to class three, it's an absolute gas type enclosure, which is going to protect the people, the product and the environment. Uh, and these are recommended to be used in a BSL-3 based on risk assessment and definitely in a BSL-4 physics.